Welcome to Psychic Pass on A1R Psychic Radio. I'm really glad that you joined me tonight for tonight's show. I am a clairvoyant and a light trans medium. I see past, present, and future, and I speak to past loved ones. You can also book a, a private reading with me through my page, my website, psychicpast.com. Just go on there and see what it's about and browse. And if you're interested, just go ahead and use the book page. So um, I'm here every Wednesday evening. And one of the top things of the week is doing these shows. I love being able to reach callers and do the readings. So yes, welcome. And here we are. I'm coming from Minnesota and I'm interested in where everyone is showing up from. So please let me know in the comment section. I um, I want to talk about love, which is my theme, and being kind. Um, it's not passe or a thing for just a word. Love is encompassing to me. It's the core of my being, of what I want to have in my daily life, because love is comfort, and love is peace, and love is refuge. So um, I would suggest that everyone kind of contemplate or give a moment to what love means to you. And also the best way to show that love is to be kind. I think that this world needs a lot more love and a lot more kindness. When you have love, you don't have time to be sad. Um, you actually am quite loved back. I think of it as nature. What you give out is what you get back. And so I hope that everyone has a reason today or tomorrow to be a little bit kinder and a little bit gentler with everyone. Um, so, yeah, that's my thing. I love love. Um, it's one of the first things I learned about people was love. So, um, yeah, so far tonight I can say, oh, Mary in Phoenix, Arizona. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you tonight? Can you hear I me? I am well. I can hear you now, yes. Good. Um, what can I help with tonight? Um, I'm just wondering why I have such a hard time uh, with money. Um, okay. It, it goes, it just, it doesn't stay with me very long. And I'm, I'm sure there's a fear behind it, but I'm just wondering what's going on with money, me and money. I think, um, if I, if I'm connecting right, um, you do know that that money is a tool you do know that um, money is a security. Um, I don't pick up that you're frivolous with it. Um, what I am picking up is it has something to do with your planets in your birth chart, your natal birth chart. Hold okay. on, because I, I, I kind of feel you. Um, I I think it has to do I think it has to do with you need to not focus on the money. Um you're a very loving kind person and you deserve everything good that comes your way. But the trouble is is when you start wanting to um when you start to think of money um, 
it's a very, very hard place to be between a rock and a hard place because your chart, from what I'm picking up, is um, that you need to do something you're passionate about, something you understand, and something that, that gives you pleasure, and then you'll make the money. But as soon as you put money at the forefront of it, that's when things go wacky. Am, am I being clear? Yes, you are. Um, and it's only because what I'm picking up is is a life lesson. Um, if you pick on, if you focus on the passion, the joy, doing things that that give you peace and happiness, money will just instantly come. It's 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 the locked door. The locked door is focusing on it. So you need to not focus on it. And then you'll just find it coming in. Oh, okay. Because I find I find um, I find that you're a very smart person with money, and you've tried. <laughs> and spirit is telling me that you've tried really hard, but what you haven't done is let go of the idea. Oh, if you can. If you can keep your wits about you, about money, everything that you know that is good, but not focus on it, then it will flow from what you have passion for and what you're doing. Okay. That's what I pick up. What am I know? Uh, is there <laughs> anything else that I can help you with? Um. There's a friend of mine who um, recently crossed over and it's been bugging me a lot. Um, she was like my um, spiritual teacher. And <clears throat> I know it was her time, but I'm having a hard time with it. Okay. Um. She was kind of like a bestie to you, a best friend. Kind of, yeah. Um, I'm trying to connect with her. I'm, I'm getting an illness. Is there something that was left unsaid? Because what's what's what I'm picking up is she's bugging you. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. I think it. I think there is something left unsaid, but she's saying to me that um, there was something left unsaid, and that. Um, As you had the friendship, um, she was almost your polar opposite in some ways. Um, she wants you to know that was what was ever in that friendship is is okay with her. Um, she wants you to know she's okay. But she also wants to know she's she's quite all right with the friendship. She 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 loves having you in her life. Um, what she's telling me is there's something about someone else, and um, I don't know if it's a rumor or if someone else is is having a a hard time or or something but it's it's somebody else she's bringing up somebody else um okay. 
I'm I'm trying to get her. Um, she's telling me that there's somebody that she she hadn't trusted a hundred percent. Um, that. That isn't completely being authentic. And that's what she's trying to tell you. Um, and she's trying to tell me that that uh, she wants you to be careful. She says that um, you're a happy-go-lucky person and sometimes you trust too easily. She doesn't she doesn't want to cause any grief, but at the same time, she wants you to be careful with the people that you are closest to. If that makes sense, because she's showing me two or three more people that are involved in in friendships. So um, that's what I get. Um, she's not going to bother you anymore. Um, no, she's telling she can't. she's she's telling me that uh, she was ill and she didn't want to accept it, but she accepted it. But she wanted to give you that one tidbit. So. Um, She's okay. You know, she's in the light. And she just wanted to say that. That whatever happened in, in the life, she was glad you were there. And just to be, be more cautious with people, with your heart. She seems to be the type of person that was kind of, um, the energy is closed off, but she's not closed off. She's very cautious with her feelings. So um, that's what I get. Okay. I hope I hope that that was some help. Um, yeah, but she, she's not going to bother you. She got to say what she wanted to say tonight. So okay. you'll feel better. Um, yeah, she, you'll feel better. Is there any other question? that I can help you with? Um, I know you may have gotten a lot of inquiries about the the, uh, the vaccine, and I've chosen not to do it just yet. Um, what is, is it okay to take it, or is it okay for me to be cautious? It's okay to be cautious and it's okay to take it. Okay. okay. Um, it's person to person. But um, for me, I had a wedding with my daughter and I took it because I didn't want to be that one person um, yeah. in, in hundreds of people. So I think it's a person to person thing, but both are okay. There's really no argument, you know, right now. There's really, it's person to person. Okay. 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 All right. That's you have great. a good thank night. You. And thank, thank you, you so much thank you for so calling. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. We have Michelle on the phone. Hi. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, how, how are you, you doing tonight? Um, I'm, I'm doing okay. And then you? I'm doing okay. I kind of sad because summer's gone. But other than that, um, it's pretty good tonight. How can I help you yeah. tonight? Um, I'm just wondering if there's um possibly um any message um from my husband at all who passed. Um. You know, if there's any, anything, any, any message from him or... Okay. Oh. Um, hang on a minute. Let me see if I can connect with him. Um, okay.
right away uh i i'm i'm picking up on someone um there seems to be a strength to this guy but there also seems to be a little humor a humorous person humor? oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like lighthearted but strong but still kept that yeah. that humor um Yeah, very masculine, but yet um, yeah. very funny. Um, I'm trying to pick up on uh, from him how he passed away, but he doesn't. He don't want to deal with that. He says uh, he's been around you, and um, he loves you, and he knows you've been crying. He's telling me that you've been crying. Um, he wants you to know that he's okay. Um, what he's showing me about his passing is here today and gone tomorrow. And I don't think he was expecting it. It's not like he could yeah. accept it. Um, yeah. It was quick. Um, but he wants you to know he hasn't left you. Um, there is something in your house, maybe in your living room, that attracts him. And I, I think it's something of his. Do you have something out in your living room that was his? Um, everywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, I want you to know that when you're thinking of him, um, he's right there with you. He's with you in the living room. He's with, uh, I'm picking up, um, he's attracted still to, to being there with you and home. Um, He's also telling me that there's something undone, something that wasn't said or done. And he's telling me to tell you to let that go, whatever that was. Um, he's telling me that sometimes he didn't do everything he said he would, or he didn't do everything on time. And there's something he didn't do on time. No, he didn't. <laughs> he, he he's saying, please let that go. Okay. Yeah. Is, is um is there anything that that you want from him specifically? Um, that I want from him specifically. I just yes, want to, tonight. Um, him to. Show me signs that he's still with me. We were, I mean, he was. Yes. He was a part of me. Okay. You know? Um. We were together for a very long time. So. He's saying that that he has. There's something about flickering, or draining. <laughs> he he's doing things that you may not be aware of. So um, if you find flickering going on on the lights, that's him. And if your phone is dying... Definitely, yes, the lights, yes. <laughs> and if there's anything about the phone draining without much use, that's him. So he's saying always. he's trying to... Always trying to communicate with you. He loves you and he's not far... Um, did you, did you just get a chill? Did you just feel something yep. because he just kissed you? He just, just what? Me, sorry? He just kissed you. Do you, did you he feel a me? chill? Um, Kind of, um, I don't know. Um, 
I'm, 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 I'm a little overwhelmed right now. <laughs> um, I'm, you said he kissed me? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. Yes, he did. He kissed you. Totally devoted. Even even yeah. in passing. So, um, yeah, that's your message for tonight. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to know? Um, uh, will I be moving soon? <laughs> I don't think soon. Um, but definitely moving, okay? Okay. I okay. I sense it within the year. Okay, good. Okay, great. Um, there there's something about sentimental things. You want to move. I I feel the urge. But then again, the problem is, where are you going to put all your sentimental things? Because I feel like yeah. you have a lot of things that have a lot of meaning and you're not just going to just leave them. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, I, think, I think that that's, that's what's going to take some time. Um, you've kind of put roots down where you are. But I do yeah. see it. I see it. I do see a move in, in the next year, this this within this year. Okay. Okay. okay um, thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss and and just know that he's there with you. Well, thank you for that. All right. Well thank that, you that for I want to know that, that he's with me. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you so much he's for that. Fine. He's having a lot of fun with your lights and draining things. But that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's a psychic energy and spirit energy. Um, yeah, but he's there. He's there with you. So I hope that, that I've been some help. And um, thank you so much for calling. Oh, thank you so much for for getting in touch with me. <laughs> it means a lot. All right. Good. Thank you. Take your time and and be good to yourself, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I need All to right. hear that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Gentle with yourself. You have, a, you have a great night. You too. Night. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Night. Okay, so those were the callers, and we have a little bit of time. So um, with that, I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight on the show. And tune again, tune in next week. A1R Psychic Radio is, I think, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if I'm not wrong. So watch all the shows, because we have a really, really great lineup of readers. And with that, everyone have a pleasant night or a great day, depending where you are. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>